I'm on dad duty right now. So I got the uh, 10 week old here with me. He's having a little bit of a fuss. So we went on a stroll. for things like even Stevens and, and all that stuff and this role for a show called what's lizzie thinking came about and got sent to sides and it's kind of a different character from what people know ethan as because he started off as kind of a an idiot bully <laughs> and then he turned into like an, uh, an idiot hunk uh, later on during the show uh, but i still think that one of the main reasons i booked it was just because they didn't know how to pronounce the word gordon and i said it gordon uh, and they thought that was a funny choice, but I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't realize it was a choice at the time. I don't know if I was like awestruck or I just wasn't really paying attention. It was probably the second. I think I was just happy to just to be there and play, you know, because <laughs> I was I was I was 13 at the time. Right. So I probably like just before I was a little too aware of, of everything going on at the very start. It's, it's such a blur. Honestly, I remember fragments of being in like a tutoring room. Because uh, you know, being a minor under 18, you had to get a certain hours of a uh, certain number of hours of schoolwork in a day or at least a week that you could then like bank earlier in the week. Uh, and that's where the majority of the social life between the cast took place. You know, there's uh, a level of fun on set still, but, uh, you know, you try to keep a level of professionalism <laughs> when you're doing that. You're like, there's still work to be done. And so it's kind of a little bit more goofing off as you would at school uh, in the tutoring room. You know, everyone was just really cool and welcoming. Um, I didn't, there was no sense of us and them whatsoever. Uh, there was a sense of like, oh, cool, like Hillary Duff, because she had done like the Casper uh, movie. You know, she was, she was kind of a name uh, at that point um, and would become an even bigger one, right? But everyone was just really cool. We're all around the same age. Uh, we're like mainly like playing our own age, 13 year olds playing 13 year olds. Uh, the only person that was outside of that group was Adam Lambert, who played Gordo, because uh, he was actually like 17, 18 at the time. I remember we were in, uh, in like the tutoring room and uh, he would just kind of be there, not because he was a minor, but because he was doing his schoolwork for Cal Berkeley. <laughs> yeah, I think, you know, we're all, we're all cool now and amicable. If I saw any of them, I'd like, we'd have a great catch-up conversation, but you know, your lives take a lot of different paths afterwards. I, I wanted to go back to school and playing a lot of water polo afterwards. And uh, so we all kind of went our own directions after that. I've seen people here and there, but we also live in different areas and on good terms and, and uh, we're friends with everybody, but we don't really see each other too often. I think that it was, for the most part, just so fun uh, that it was just a really positive experience um, and how it was such a family just between all the cast and all the crew and all the parents of the kids. And it was just, um, it was just a really lovely time. It was actually pretty seamless. The adjustment was being back in quote unquote, like real life in public school scenario uh, and trying to relate to kids there who all of a sudden saw you as other and uh, would treat you differently in you know different ways. I mean, yes, yeah, you could say that uh, people would, I, I stood out because, oh, there goes the guy that's on the thing. Um, I remember the weekend after uh, the show premiered, uh, going to school that, that Monday <laughs> was a very different sensation because like, again, it was our own audience uh, that we were playing for, right? So not everyone watched it, but if they didn't watch it, they had friends that did and the word got around it. Like that kid goes to our school, it's this guy. Uh, it was funny being like every, every time I'd go to a new school, so like middle school is like sixth through uh, eighth grade, so three years. And then we have high school from ninth grade to 12th grade and then college for four years. So every time I would move up the next tier in the education system, there was a new uh, onboarding period, if you will, of people getting used to me being there. They're like, oh, that's the guy, that's the Ethan Graff guy. Uh, and just observe me, I guess, or like see what I'm like, uh, or like try to be friends with me, whatever. And then... <laughs> uh then then they realize that i'm not that special <laughs> that was incredible uh a different experience for sure you know when you're on a a series for tv you know you're filming monday through friday every week's a new episode it's very structured there's a pacing to it there's a format um the sets are you know built and they're there and you're using the same spots every time so there's kind of a rhythm and a flow to everything when you're filming you're doing everything brand new for the first time and the only time 
Um, so the, the, the pacing, the structure is, is a lot different, but I enjoyed it all the same. And it was an amazing adventure. And <laughs> one of the perks for me was that I wasn't in very much of the movie, frankly, but I was there for just as long as everybody else. So my mom and I got to just like go around to different places. You know what? I would certainly be open to it. I think um, I, it's, it's, such a, it's such a fun project. And I, for the, I would mostly be just curious what the heck Ethan's up to these days because he could have gone in any direction. Like let's say if he was in like the car sales uh, route, like he wouldn't ever even talk about the car. He would just get like so friendly with the person he was talking to and they would just like him so much and be like, yeah, sure, we'll take it. You know, like something like that. It was like, cool, right on, man. Right now, um, my life is, I'm, I'm working with a residential real estate sales company in Los Angeles. Um, so helping people buy and sell homes, which is really <laughs> freaking cool to do, frankly. And I'm also... Uh, I'm co-founder and managing a men's water polo club team uh, for the Los Angeles Athletic Club. And I'm married to a lovely woman named Allegra. And I'm actually in Vancouver because she is an amazing actress. And she's in a Amazon Prime show called Upload that's filming its third season up here. And we have a 10-week-old son that I'm currently walking around. So it's a, it's a big, uh, busy and wonderful life, I'd say. You know, I've done some acting here and there since then, some, some uh, online stuff, some short films, some things on Netflix, uh, other things that, you know, you can find on iTunes, and I've done some improv and some musicals, and uh, it's all fun and good, and I, 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 don't think, I don't think you've seen the last of me doing anything acting-wise, but I think it's, I, I find peace right now stepping away from that to make space for other things currently, I'll say that.